Man, the wind is going crazy out here. Um, this is a little bit different than the other stoves that are just straight, uh, um, you know, Pepsi can stoves and that kind of thing. This one, tinny, designed to be remote feed. You put a, you got a chicken water over here, which is maybe overflowing a little bit. Um, the the um, outlet here needs to be lined up with the highest point you want here, and it looks like I really overfilled this thing. So good luck. Here we go. So it's lit. Hopefully it won't burn up in front of you. And uh, I'll put this around it to kind of keep things contained in this wind, maybe. I'll be using this little REI TI wear pot from hundreds of years ago. I think they did this for a while with Evernew and then discontinued them. They were really nice little pots, but I guess Evernew thought that, you know, REI was selling too many of them or something. So the way this works is, if you set it up right, that is, the, um, the carbon felt up there stays lubricated via this uh, feeder. And this is a real art to keeping this thing going. It's going now, so I'm gonna put the pot on it and hide it. But unlike all the others, this is quiet. And uh, I'm trying to leave about a half an inch around the edges of this thing. So, you know, as it goes, you'll see a bubble go up every once in a while as it feeds the stove automatically. And if I'm lucky, that uh, heat dam between the top of the stove and the open area down there won't, you know, burn up in a fire because I put too much alcohol on it. We'll see how this goes. Um, Anyway, that's uh, the um, Mini Bull Designs M100.